NBC Sunday Night at the Movies returns following these messages. On Quincy, a young boy dies taking counterfeit drugs. It was your business that killed him. And Quincy takes the law into his own hands to stop it. Wednesday. This is NBC News Update. Here now is Jane Pauley. Egypt has a new cabinet tonight and a shake-up designed to end corruption and improve the economy. Twelve ministers were dropped, including two named in a corruption scandal. Western sources say Poland has the money to pay the interest and avoid default on its $26 billion debt to the West. It's believed the $350 million came from Moscow. Holiday storms that killed 25 persons have covered the northern half of the nation with snow and ice. In Maine, 20,000 are without electricity in 10-degree weather. In the pro football playoffs, Cincinnati beat Buffalo and San Francisco beat the New York Giants. I'm Jane Pauley in New York. More news later on this NBC station. Energize and exercise with Richard Simmons. Weekday mornings at 10, right after Donahue on Channel 2. My heart was with Sis, back in England at the christening. So I gave the new mother a ring from the States. Wouldn't have missed it for anything. The godfather was so proud. Auntie M was in her glory. And through it all, little Charles performing like a trooper. Even the dear vicar was there. We felt so close again. Three minutes to the United Kingdom, $2.40. Give him a call. At McDonald's, only in the Greater Houston area, you can win up to $10,000 in cash. Or a 1982 Ford Bronco. Or one of more than a million other prizes in Greater Houston. Including Big Mac and McPhee sandwiches and Coca-Cola. It's McDonald's fabulous Rodeo to Riches. Just collect game stamps or win instantly. Play McDonald's Rodeo to Riches game. You can't win if you don't play. The People's Court, 3 p.m. weekdays on Channel...